back on Dishing with Mike. You know, we have fun when we're on the air, when we're off the air. I mean, we're always doing something. All right, now, we're going to talk a little bit about some sweets and treats. Okay, it's not Dairy Queen. Sorry, it's Dishing with Mike. Now, let's see what we have here. All right, now, don't get all worked up. We're not going to drink any wine. We're going to use this to serve our little sweet item in today, okay? Ooh, hello, can you hear me? Echo, echo. All right. It's like a shell from the ocean. I can hear my wife pouring wine somewhere. I know she's somewhere. Okay. Anyway. All right. So now we got the glazed donuts. I mean, you sh I I'm proud of myself that there's not like a, a, a bite mark out of one of these because I love them. <laughs> I laugh because I could eat probably like six or eight of these without a problem, without even breaking a sweat. All right. So what are we going to do with them? We're going to eat them. We're going to incorporate with some fruit so I don't feel so bad. So really, I'm in denial about the whole thing with the, with the, with the donuts, okay? But that's all right. Don't worry about it. So we got glazed donuts. Have you ever seen those being made? Maybe one day we'll do like a show at a donut place and you can see how they make donuts. Would that be unbelievable? We would never see them because I would be eating them faster than they could make them. All right, I made a little mess over here with our glazed donuts. We're going to take our peaches and we're going to kind of just use, you've heard me say this before, I mean, what are we going to do? Mike's going to use the little seed and he's going to use it to cut himself some, some wedges, okay? Some wedges. The, the dogs are growling at me. They're like, you haven't dropped anything. What is the deal, man? All right, so we got the peaches. And then here's what I'm going to do with them. The peaches, not the dogs, okay? We, uh, we are going to take the peaches and we're going to fight with them. And we're going to try to get them off of this little seed here, okay? All right, now, we can't, we're, not putting any oil, we're not putting any butter in here because we got like a, we got like a, a two-step process. And you say, well, Michael, what are you going to do with these poor peaches? Did you really have to ask me that? I mean, really, come on. You saw I had the skillet out, the grilling skillet. You saw me do the peaches. And now, what am I doing? Exactly what you expected me to do. So what we're gonna do here, all right, stick with me now. We're gonna get out our tongs, okay? And we're going to tong it up. Can you sing that tong? Do you know that tong? Oh, no, I mean song. Okay. Anyway. What we're doing is we're, gonna, we're grilling up our peaches. Like, that's not real that hard to figure out, is it? Okay. And I always tell you this. I just really feel sorry for you because you can't smell the goodness that's coming off of these things. So, what do you got to do? Go get a skillet, get some peaches, and try it. And just do it. Okay. Forget about it. It's time you live your own life. I mean, come on. All right. See? We got to let them on. We got to leave it on there for a little bit. All right. So you know what? I can multitask. Oh, yes, I can. What are we going to do over here, you say? Mm, okay. Oh, this is so much work. I, I just really need my wife to help me. Okay. There we go, a little butter. This is why I tell you to buy unsalted butter. Because now this, the salt is not, you know, we don't have a salty dessert. We did salt earlier. Now, you know, I do love when I have something sweet, I like to come back and have something salty. If you haven't tried that, if you haven't tried that, I'm gonna tell you a little secret right now. There's somebody that's making an ice cream I love, I love all that stuff, I told you, but I can't have it, you know, eat it in moderation. There's somebody out there making ice cream, got to keep an eye on the butter, we're not making a roux here, we don't want to get it too hot, and they put chocolate chip cookie dough chunks in the ice cream, that's a win right there, and then they put pieces of pretzels in there, so it's like having salty and sweet. 
if you're a foodie, I can't remember what it's called because there's like a whole another flavor on your taste bud. It's been sitting there waiting for you to explore, you know? It's like different parts of your brain. We only use certain parts of our brain. And some of us out there driving around don't use any parts of our brains, apparently. But anyway, uh, it's like a whole new flavor deal with salt and sweet at the same time, okay? So because it is, you know, maybe I should just throw a little salt in there, okay? I got to practice what I preach. All right. Now, we got the butter. Now what are we going to do? As if the donuts weren't already decadent enough. <laughs> now we're putting the glazed donuts right in here. And what else are we going to put in there just to really mess me, my diet, everything up? Well, after the tortellini, there was, there was, I was already out of control. All right. We got a little brown sugar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Because a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Who came up with that one? That's what I want to know. They were so far ahead of their time. Now they put flavors in medicine so kids will eat it. I mean, Mary Poppins had that down. How long ago was that? They were putting sugar in the medicine. Psh, that's a no-brainer. All right. So we got the brown sugar. We got the glazed donuts, which have sugar already. So we got sugar and more sugar and then more sugar. So if you're a diabetic, you might as well just turn, you might walk away, step away from the TV, okay? Now, what are we gonna do? Now it's time to freak out the peaches, okay? <laughs> Now watch this. <laughs> I'm only laughing because this is good. this is so good. I mean, if you fed people this kind of food, you couldn't do it every day, but just once in a while. You know what I mean? And you were trying to win someone over, like their heart, their love, their money, whatever. And you fed them food like this, they would just be like following you around like these two little animals here follow me around all the time in the kitchen. Okay? Food is the, what is that? The, to people's hearts? It works. It's the truth. Okay? Look at my wife. I got nothing on her, man. And she's, um, she's hanging around with me. Pfft, how lucky am I? All right, let's do this. Let's take a quick break. We'll let this kind of fester up, okay? I'm probably gonna, mm, I'm gonna cheat. They should make like an ice cream that's a peach glazed donut ice cream. When we come back on Dishing with Mike, we're gonna try and dish this up in that little bitty wine glass. We'll see how that works out. We'll see you in just a minute on Dishing with Mike. Hey, welcome back to the show. So this is the spoon that my daughter Francie eats her cereal with. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's going to kill me. All right. Not really. So here's what we're going to do. All right. We're going to put that in here where we have to do it very gingerly. So, okay. Just to recap. We're not recapping anything. We're just doing it. Okay. All right. Now. So, we, do you know how hard this would be, you know, to try to do this, like, if you were doing a banquet for, like, 9,000 people, which is really kind of what I, what I kind of cook for around the house, because, you know, for some reason, they think I can cook. I don't know. Somebody's is, is, is got a vicious rumor out there that Mike Hutchison knows how to cook, all right? So, go figure that. So, we got a few peaches, Okay. This smells so good. Now, we got to go in here to get some of the schmutz, all right, and some of the glazed donuts. I mean, come on. Look, look, look. Like, I could just eat this like it was cereal. Is there glazed donut cereal? Has anyone come out with that? I mean, we're missing the whole glazed donut boat. I mean, glazed donuts, they're like a, it's like a landmark. You know what I mean? All right. Just take that flavor and go with it. We're going to take the glazed donuts. We added just a little bit of cream. We had the brown sugar. Okay, 
a little bit of sugar remember helps the medicine go down and then we got the heavy cream now if you wanted to like just really get kind of crazy with this what you could do is you could take that and you could let's turn off our gas to save our natural resources you could take that and you could add some whipped cream right on top but that's not necessary okay and we're just going to take a little bit well you could like you could what you could do is like you could take the glass and you could dip it and you could put like the sugar around the glass you know what i mean kind of do like a a drink theme with your with your little dessert okay now i knew the tortellini was good but i told you i love sweets okay you could add a little orange liqueur if you wanted to when it was in the skillet so there's a lot of different things maybe some sambuca you could do kalua you could do all kinds of cool things all right so we did some pasta today very simple we had some cross utilization of items we used a heavy cream in the pasta we used a little heavy cream in our sauce all right it was just outstanding flavor sweet and savory it's always nice to end the whole meal on something sweet okay i don't have my wife with me so i had to make a little dessert something just very simple so we want to thank you for being on dishing with mike We'll see you next week. Go to the website, dishingwithmike.com, and let us know, have you ever bought a grilling skillet, and what have you been doing on the skillet? All right? Don't forget, food outlet for all your wine. See you next week on Dishing with Mike.